Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This time I'm going to introduce you how to set up the uh, Baofeng 1801 connect it with your setup box and act as the uh, MMDVM well because this time the uh, Raspberry Pi is very expensive and hard to find in the market so you see the setup is very easy okay yeah what you have to do is you have the uh, the cable connection and your Baofeng was already flush with the OpenGD 77 and then you put your Baofeng to the MMDVM hotspot but this time what I'm gonna teach you is you install the uh, the TCP ward on your setup box including your uh, blue DV okay blue DV from Papa Alpha 7 Lima India might I will put the link of the, uh, the the application then you can just download it and then after that you install it in your setup box okay well this time your, your setup box has to be uh, your Android setup box has to be uh, already unlocked. Okay, so it's so you can easily just use your USB stick and then insert it, and then after that you just install the the application. Then after that, I will show you how to set it up. Okay, guys, let's continue. Okay, so this time I have put the. Uh, the USB you can see the USB stick was already stick there okay okay now let's go to the uh, file explorer well you can see in here there is the uh, the blue dv apk and the tcp uart version 1.2 you don't download it from the um, the play store because the recent one cannot be used so you have to use this version and after you install it then it will show up in your application then after that what you have to do is just first thing you have to do is you go to the TCP ward okay and you see the setting okay so first the um, the USB ward you don't you don't change for the baud rate Okay, and then after that, for the uh, TCP, you change from the client to the server. Okay, then after that, what you have to do is you change the port to 2000. Okay, so that's it for the TCP ward. But then after that, what you have to do is you click start, then so you click connect okay because now you cannot connect it because you don't have the uh, the usb cable but the uh, baofeng okay uh, data cable was not connected yet so what you have to do you have to connect it then it will connect it but this time we ignore it then we go what you have to do you just press the uh, the back menu or you press the home button and you go to your apps again then after that you go to the blue dv okay so when the uh, it show up 
what you have to do is you just go to setup okay so you change your call sign in here and then after that your DMR ID for your blue for your information you can change anything okay then after that if you are using the D star frequency then you change your D star since I'm using my DMR so I'm, I'm changing my DMR okay this one here the DMR QRG you just put it on zero okay I just put it on zero and then for your DMR master you can just find any of your DMR master okay then for your master password I will also put it in there okay then after that for the others you don't change it it, it, it was just like that okay you see the uh, then after that in in the radio type okay in the radio type you have to change it if you are using the MMDVM hotspot well or you're using DV Mega or the zoom spot then you just change it since I'm using the uh, the Baofeng that I already upgrade the uh, firmware become the open GD 77 which is already has the uh, MMDVM hotspot function in there including the blue DV so I use that okay then after that you, you enable the uh, cert 2 net okay then don't forget this is very important another one is the uh, cert 2 net IP the cert 2 net IP you have to change it okay from what it was shown there and then you just delete it and then you put in there 127.0.0.1 okay then after that the color okay the receive and transmit colors from green to red you just submit it after that okay then you will see this information okay what you have to do you go back again to the TCP IP oh no the TCP word what I mean okay let me connect the uh, the, ha the handy talkie and the cable okay the cable was already connected now I'm going back to the application and then I go to TCP word then after that I press the connection well you see since the cable was already connected and it's easy and then you just connect okay we'll connect and then this one the TCP IP client on port 2000 was already connected okay and what you have to do is just go back to your application again and then you go to the blue DV you see it says the third to net was connected and then the uh, it was not connected what you have to do you just go to the uh, oh just go to the uh, green font here okay you just press now it's already connected okay now it's connected so you can see there is the uh, the call with a different color okay this is the uh, the receiving okay now I'm in the talk group 91 so guys this is one of the solution for you guys okay so now in my uh, my radio was already connected so when I press the PTT you can see there is a green color in there well that is the uh, the incoming transmission okay this is the outcoming transmission so you see the color is green okay well okay guys thank you for watching my uh, video so I hope this one uh, solution 
what I mean, uh, this 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 uh, information can be one of your solution to create your MMDVM. Okay, the the information that I give it to you is when you are using this uh, your S uh, uh, set top box. You after that, if you don't like the TV to be turned on, you can just turn it off. Okay, you can just turn off the TV because the TV you can see the 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 transmission from uh from our our friend or whoever. So you can see the uh, the there is the uh, in here there is the. Uh, we call it last call, okay? Last call in here, okay? So, in here, you can change, okay? DMR, YSP, I'll show it to you. Okay, disconnect it. Now, you see? There is quite several connections that you can do it, okay? See, now I'm only having a DMR and I'll choose the DMR. Okay, so that's all guys, whenever you want to see the last hurt, while well, you turn on the TV, you still can see the signal. If you don't want, you just turn off the TV and let the set-top box still, uh, still on. This set-top box has to be the one that already unlocked, okay. So it's easy. Okay, guys, thank you. So for uh, visiting my channel, please always keep a distance because the current situation is not so good for the uh, virus COVID. So have a good day and regards to you and your family. See you again, 73. Yankee Delta Zero Alpha X-Ray Charlie, clear.